doing a Tdap and flu vaccines because that's the recommendation for having a new baby around. <laughs> and I don't can't even remember the last time I've had ow. <laughs> I've had a shot. <laughs> I think it's probably been twenty years. <laughs> no, probably sooner than that. <laughs> Am I done, Doctor? You're done. <laughs> Let me just put some band-aids on. Oh, yeah. Do I get a lollipop? <laughs> House calls for husbands. Yep. I'm a lucky boy. <laughs> Thank you, dear. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello. It is Saturday for me, so uh, happy Saturday. Uh, today, it's actually kind of nice out. Um, I mean, nice by, you know, Michigan standards in December. It's like 35, 40 degrees and there's no snow on the ground. So I figure uh, I'm going to do some chainsaw work. I'm going to fire this bad boy up. I actually did a little bit of chainsawing, I think it was last, last weekend probably, um, when it was frozen and there was like just a little bit of snow on the ground. And it was actually really enjoyable because it's pretty manual labor so I was building up a, a nice sweat there working just working away at it and the ground was all solid and frozen so I wasn't you know stepping in mud stepping in water uh, it was it, I, I got a lot done but I didn't record any of it because I had like an hour straight of time before the Sun went down so today I'm going to try to get a little more done out by the pond on the old pond restoration project and uh, yeah that'll be my day playing with the chainsaw let's get to it uh, there's something kind of neat on this saw that I, I I don't often use, obviously, but I I am using today because it's cold out. Underneath the lid here, see that little grommet? Um, I already moved it last time I used the saw, but normally in the summer you take that grommet and you put it right in this slot here, and that blocks off um, pretty much these two chambers. Here's the air intake and here's the engine block itself. That little, uh, that little grommet pretty much is a firewall between the heat of the engine and the air being sucked in from the outside. So in the summer, you know, you want it to suck in air from, oh, there goes my light, uh, from this back area. And then in the winter time, um, you, you want it to suck in this warmer air just to help it run a little more efficient. So. Kind of a neat little trick on a otherwise pretty entry level saw. Cool. burn pile and this is pretty much what I've been clearing for the whole summer and into into the winter now um, built a little pile of stuff there and uh, yeah last weekend I had kind of cleared more around the edge and built that pile and that one was there that was what I scraped up with the uh, ratchet rake over the summer so yeah, I'm just going to start clearing around here and probably making another brush pile back there. Look at that. You can see the water and it's all icy. Hopefully it's uh hopefully I can stand on it, but we'll see. All right, that's what I'm starting with. Okie doke. Here's where I've got so far. Uh, I think I did pretty good made again that that pile was there that's what I scraped up last summer over the summer and it's a lot of dirt in there I, I probably am gonna end up having to use a tractor and kind of spread this out and re uh, rake it get all the crap out but uh, that's the pile I produced it's a pretty reasonable pile here got a lot of just a lot of tangly stuff it's a lot of you know cut four feet in shut down the saw, drag it out, because the stuff is so brambly, um, I can't get through it. So, uh, yeah, I'm making progress, look at that, I mean, that's my burn pile, and all of that is 
just what I've been cleaning up. Um, I'm probably going to drag, there's some stuff there, drag that out. And then there's this big guy I was kind of getting to. Um, I might suction that up and then pull it out. Uh, pretty much my goal is just to pull it out here so I can access it with the tractor. I can come in here with my forks and slowly, you know, pick, pick up these piles and bring them around to the burning area or wherever we're burning at. But uh, yeah, it's a good workout. I'm I'm staying warm, that's for sure. Um, all right, well I'll uh, I'll get a good shot here, and we'll just keep chipping away at it. Okay, probably over here is a good place to stay. It's All right, that's just 15 minutes of work right there. Um, I'm probably gonna move it in a little closer. Um, you can see what I'm doing. But I uh, thought I'd show you this. So this is this giant log that uh, you can see a big old stump. That's probably almost two feet in diameter there. Fell here, um, and I was thinking I would chop the thing up, but man, my saw is really small. I mean, it's a 14 inch bar. It, it can hold its own against most things. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get rid of this, and it's just huge. But I was kind of looking at it, and it's kind of cool, honestly. Uh, once I get this whole area cleaned up, you know, I thought we might want to sit there and uh, look out over the nice pond. So that might just become a bench sitting area. Uh, you know, kind of clean up this. I'm collecting all the trash uh, that I'm finding around here, of which there is a lot. But I'm happy with the way this is going. So uh, I will keep on keeping on. Okay, there's my brush pile. And uh, I'm going to get to it in here. See how this quickly becomes a brambly mess. Drag that out of there. Probably gonna wrap it up here soon. I promised my wonderful wife I'd go for a walk with her since weather like this is such a treat. So I'm gonna clean up this tree here. There's a lot of little trees fighting with it, and I, I want the big one to survive. So I'm just gonna do this guy real quick, and uh, and I'll call it a day.
Yeah, the closer I look at that tree, it's nice that it's all clear now uh, without all this other competing tree, but I I do think this one's this one won't last long. It's uh, it's already given up the ghost there. And uh, I was just cleaning up this edge because at some point a long time ago a large branch fell off of this. So anyway, it'll get me through I don't know, this <laughs> the summer maybe. Uh, but it, it was alive last uh, last year. I mean, you know, that the top was so. All right, I'm gonna get this cleaned up, and uh, whew, and that's probably it. What's going on in here? Just trying to get this installed correctly. Mm. Let's see that baby bump. I need a sideways shot. <laughs> there she is. Yeah, baby. It's level. Mm, gotta keep baby safe. Hello! As you can see, there is no snow here. Uh, we're nearing Christmas time here and uh, not, uh, not a drop of snow. I'm not complaining though, because I'm not really a snow guy. <laughs> I actually don't mind the cold uh, when I can get work done in it, you know, when I can do chainsaw work and fun activity like that. And speaking of getting work done, uh, I'm going to grab a wheelbarrow here and uh, grab some mulch from my little pile over there. I planted 12 trees yesterday uh, throughout. They're just little sprouts. Um, I joined the Arbor Day Foundation and they sent me uh, a bunch of little, little trees. And here's one right here. Just a, just a little, uh, I think it's a Norfolk spruce. Something like that, evergreens. So there were 10 of those. I put uh, one, two, three, about you know five feet off this house, um, just to fill in this spot. And then the remaining seven I spread kind of throughout along the edges here. Um, there's also a willow tree I planted somewhere back in there. And then there were two, I think they were like crepe myrtles or something. I don't know, some flowering tree they sent me that, uh, I put in the back, so I'm going to go throw some wood chips on them um, so that they can be happy little trees. Yesterday when I planted them, my, uh, yeah, check this out, my parents gave me this uh, hat and I was actually, you know, it's kind of a goofy gimmick at first, but I was actually using the thing so I could see what I was doing. So I'm going to go do this and, uh, well, I may run out of light, but we'll see. Alright, got that filled up. Thought while I still had some light, I'd uh, get a little pond view here. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty much like halfway done. Uh, granted, this is this is pretty thick stuff over here, but you know, just clearing that back bank there and getting all those piles uh, ready to be moved by a Kubota someday is definitely half the battle. All right. Okay, that task is done. I got the Kubota on a trickle charger right now because I haven't run it in a while and I figure may as well keep the battery topped off. I, I would be happy if it sat there all winter, completely unused. That would, that would be totally fine with me. Uh, but I don't think that's what's going to happen. It's actually pretty funny when you read, when you read uh, the, the weather and they say, it's going to be a polar... I literally read this today. I said, it's going to be a polar vortex or maybe not. <laughs> like, how's that helpful? Uh, it could be awful, or it could just be not awful. 
Uh, thanks, weather. Anyway, I'm panning around this place because I'm slowly starting to get it organized. I know it doesn't look that way, but I've, I've found new homes for some of the equipment. I, I've put things away. Um, and I finally started cracking open these containers I've been traveling around with, and they're just full of tools and things, all sorts of things. And as I find things I know I need, I put them with other things that match them. And I don't know, I don't have a, a, a total strategy just yet, but I'm, I'm working through it. And, you know, these cabinets, i got to figure out what to go in them. Uh, so it's just a slow process here, but I'm really excited to get it all organized and uh, Yeah, and, and start using it effectively I want to put some pegboard on the back wall here and, and hang my wrenches and some other tools and Get this all cleaned up and tidy so that I at least have a nice like workshop area And then this whole floor area is open for you know car storage tractor implements uh, baby and baby related goods. <laughs> uh, Alright, well I don't think I'm working on, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do much here today, I just kind of wanted to have a before uh, view of it all because it's going to look awesome soon I hope. Alright, well thanks for joining me. If anything else interesting happens, I'll bring you along. See ya. Hello. Um, I bought something for the garage. And it fit in my little Equinox. <laughs> um, so these are two sets of scaffolding. Um, these are the Harbor Freight Special. Uh, I think the final price was like $170 each with like a 20% off coupon, which is about what it costs to rent these. But the reason I got them, I don't have like a specific use. Um, well, I do, but not what you would think. <laughs> um, I'm going to create shelving with them. And I got this idea from Tractor Time with Tim uh, on his channel. He had a small two-car garage before he had just moved to this big pole barn he's at. Um, but he was using the scaffolding as pretty much shelving to put things up high. And then he could park, well, he was parking his tractor under his. Um, but I'm probably going to store, you know, it's just, it gives me another level. I'm going to put, uh, in the summer, I'll put the snow blower on it, but in the winter here, I'm going to put my lawnmower up on it, uh, put the leaf blower, just get stuff up off the floor. That might even fit up there. Um, and then I can, you know, keep the wheelbarrows under it, probably keep my, uh, uh, leaf collector here underneath it so I can just make better use of all the space up here. These are 12 foot ceilings. I, I have no reason to have, uh, you know, that much space unused. So, so hopefully, uh, you know, these cost about the same as a nice shelf on wheels and they have the added benefit of being scaffolding. So, I mean, I can already think of several times where it would have been nice inside to have scaffolding so that it was just a safer workspace, uh, you know, instead of standing on a, on a ladder. So, yeah, I'm happy that uh, these barely fit. I had to, I had to put my, my passenger, and I guess you can't really tell, I had to put the passenger seat all the way up there, along with the driver's seat, um, and I had to take the baby. Luckily, I, I, took, the, I took the baby seat out before I uh, left this morning. But yeah, I was driving like a little old lady that, uh, on my way back. I had to push the steering wheel all the way in, and I was just kind of right up in there. Uh, but cool. Uh, so it all fit, and now I'm going to get them out of here and get them set up. Ta-da! Look at that. I am genuinely uh, impressed with this. You know, I it's this is the Harbor Freight Special, and... Uh, it's solid, man. It is. Uh, it's it's well made. I mean, it's not a it's not a Harbor Freight brand, obviously. It's Franklin, but uh, I didn't even realize this at the time when I bought it. But you know, I just happened to decide I, I want two of these. Uh, these can like interlock. I can stack them. I can put the other one on top of this one, which wasn't even something I thought about. But it, it's totally rated for that. So I could stack two, put a six foot ladder on the very top and have like 18 feet of reach. I probably won't do that, but I might. 
Um, I do have a fan that's like 12 feet in the air that has burned out bulbs that I've been dreading changing along with some recessed lights that are like on a pitched roof that's like 15 feet. So I don't know, now I can finally reach those things and if I ever want to go even higher, I can, I can put the other one on it. But uh, let me hop up on there. I, I haven't actually been up on it. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's make sure it can actually hold a person. monkeying around with that. I'm going to build the other one. Well, there you have it. I, uh, according to the time on my camera, it may have taken about 10 minutes to put that one together. Maybe, actually it might have been 8. Anywho, uh, yeah, that wasn't so bad. It's, it gets a little wonky when you start putting the wheels on. Um, I would recommend putting them on and then immediately attaching the clip uh, so it doesn't fall out and you have to do the work twice. Uh, so here is what I had in mind. You know, now there's just pretty much a big area there. I can park things on. This isn't where it's staying. It's eventually going to go in that back corner there behind the tractor. Um, but, you know, as I hopefully acquire a few more attachments for the tractor, like a rotary mower, uh, box blade, things like that, I'll have ample room to store things on the ground. And, yeah, I think this will be perfect. I'll, I'll have to keep an eye on my garage door height when I put like the lawnmower up here and I'll probably I'll probably ratchet strap it down just to keep it keep it safe up there but uh, I don't know that I'm gonna do too much more right this minute I might work on this a little bit later uh, I just wanted to get these out of my vehicle <laughs> actually that reminds me I, I was smushing my sport coat oh poor jacket okay I have to rescue my jacket now <laughs> Whenever I get back into this, I'll bring you along. So, see you on the next one. Hello. I clean up well. I went running earlier, and when I came back, I decided to work on this. Uh, I didn't film any of it because I was wet and gross, but I've showered, and now I will show you. Here's how it all turned out. This is super, uh, super helpful. I'm, I'm really happy with this. Um, you know, it still looks a little crowded under there. Um, the lawn mower was just too heavy for me to lift. In a normal scenario, when I would be, you know, cleaning up in the fall, I would use the pallet forks on here to lift that up and uh, put it right back there. So maybe if I have someone else around to help me lift it, um, I don't think my pregnant wife will be able to help me with that for some reason. I just don't think she's going to think that's something 
she would participate in. But uh, something I want to do is uh, just get some two by fours and make just bolt on a ledge here across and then maybe screw in a lip so that I have a little channel here and then I can put my uh, the, the tip of my wheelbarrow in there and fold it up against and then like secure it wrap it around here so a couple modifications I kind of want to do something similar with the cyclone where I figure out a way I can um, the wheels come off and that's the heaviest part of really this whole thing it's pretty lightweight once you get the engine and the wheels off so uh, I might build another lip on the other side to hold this thing so a couple more modifications to come but it does clear the seven foot I probably have it on like the five foot mark uh, and it's a seven foot garage door so it does clear that um, I just had to take the handle off my thing there but you know, they're, they're super easy to move. I can just pull one out of the way, um, get in between them. I don't like this. This is definitely, it's right at my face level. Um, I can just see myself, um, you know, working underneath here and then popping up and smacking my head on this. And that would be very unpleasant. So this is just, you know, my temporary solution until I can get a couple things moved around. Cause you know, if I could mount a wheelbarrow on this side, mount the other wheelbarrow on that side, that'd be a pretty slick little setup. I can just shove out of the way and, you know, move it around as needed. So, so yeah, I got this little hack idea from uh, Tractor Time with Tim, and, you know, the, when I kind of priced it out, the, the price was right. Um, and, you know, yeah, I can pull that in a little deeper or just have plenty of space for various implements. You know, the the space on the ground is really, to me, it's the most valuable space in a garage. It's the whole reason uh, people build these garages is so they can store big machinery. You know, putting a leaf blower and putting uh, some of these smaller things, taking up that valuable space, it, it just doesn't make sense. Um, and, you know, also you, you want to enjoy the time you spend on some of these machines because sometimes you have to spend a lot of time just on maintenance or fixing a thing like my little <laughs> that, that, that didn't quite last that the wood snapped that I had in there and I, I knew I'd hack that together I just kind of wanted it I wanted to make sure I could make it work before I put a lot of effort into cutting a specific piece of wood and all that but anyway the point is now I can just pull my snowblower out of the way sit on my chair and work on that whereas before I had to unstack the thing and move the other thing and, and pull this out and you know it was a whole thing so <laughs> so hopefully this will save time and make things a little more enjoyable but that's what I got um, I'm probably gonna edit this tomorrow so that I can share it with you manana uh, again thank you for joining me and uh, we're just working away in the garage so see you next time <laughs>